Oh my goodness! Today is a very auspicious occasion because I have finally mustered up enough courage to make my first YouTube or social media channel. Hello everyone, today my young students, my name is Little Mittal aka the Meat Kaka and today's episode of the channel is what is going to be my channel. Anyways, cut, cut, cut. All right, so, hi everyone. My name is Lito Mito, aka Mikaka. That it's one of my characters that I'm looking to do in my YouTube channel. This is a great feeling because I finally, after five years, am making my first YouTube video. It is scary. It is one of the most hardest things to do, and. I'm one of those type of people who always thought that I need to make everything perfect, that everything should be amazing on my first video. But after watching a lot of other people and getting a lot of advice from, from other YouTubers, they pretty much told me no one gives two poops about your first video because you don't have no subscribers. You don't have anybody who's going to be even watching your first YouTube video. And it might be another... Three, four, two, one, who knows? Whatever number is out there and how many videos you have to put out there before you even get a subscriber or get people to watch your YouTube channel. You still don't even know what your niche is. And I'm like, well, I got a bunch of different ideas on what I want my YouTube channel to be. And we'll go into that a little bit more later on in this video. But you're right. I, I don't have, I have four subscribers right now on my YouTube channel. And four of them are my cousins. And, uh, you know, thank you for the support. And uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it, guys. But, um, you know, everyone's right. The first video, no one's going to really watch it. So the best thing people said to do on your first video is to introduce yourself. So let me introduce you to who I am again without my funny Indian accent. I am Lito Mito, aka Meat Kaka, which is one of my characters that I'm thinking to use in my videos here in the future. And I finally got around to doing a YouTube video. Yay! Anyways, let's talk about more on what my YouTube channel is going to be about. Again, I don't have a specific niche. Uh, I do have a lot of different ideas that I want to do. But until... I start doing videos and finding what works using analytics or what people like to watch or, 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 or you know, anything in that realm. I'm just going to try a bunch of stuff and throw it at it and see what sticks and what doesn't stick. Like a spaghetti on the wall. If the spaghetti is ready, throw it against the wall. If it sticks, it's good. If it doesn't stick, <laughs> so let's talk about the first thing that I want to to do on my YouTube channel, what niche uh, I'm looking for. So one, I want it to be maybe a personality channel. Uh, I do have multiple different characters. I have a lot of different skits. I want to make it very comical. I want to be uh, who I want to be on my channel, you know, trying to make people laugh. I, I, I've learned uh, a long time ago and, you know, Patch Adams, the movie said it right, that laughter is the best medicine. And my goal is to make people laugh whether it's doing funny things, you know, uh, using my Indian accent because uh, there's a famous comedian called Russell Peters and he said it correctly. Uh, Indian people, we have the most funniest accents in the world and we do the little head bob and it is amazing and people find it funny. It does sound funny and I agree with it 100%. And, you know, being in the IT business and, and dealing with customers and clients. I have a lot of my clients that, you know, jokingly ask me to turn on the Indian accent to make them laugh. And, it, and it's a good feeling when people can laugh. Uh, it, it heightens up in endorphins or it you know, creates endorphins and it uplifts your mood. And, you know, it's, it's a good feeling. So, you know, I want to use my personality, my comedic personality to do a YouTube channel that that um, that's that's based on my personality or my different personalities. Like I have a different couple different characters, like you know, Meat Kaka and Lito Mito, and uh, a couple other ones that you'll see in the future if you continue to subscribe and watch, like uh, P Kaka and some some funny stuff here. Uh, yeah, don't don't ask me about the names. Maybe in a later video, I'll, I'll let you know what Kaka means. It's an Indian term for uncle. Um, 
which I actually just revealed now. So, whoops, never mind. We're just going to do it on this video. The second niche I'm looking to do is food. Uh, I, I like to cook. You know, there's a lot of crazy recipes out there, uh, but I want to do food with a twist. I want to make it comedic again, right? So cooking with peacock or cooking with meacock, or cooking with the Indian accent or cooking with, you know, random people and uh, doing some cooking videos or just, you know, basic cooking stuff or, you know, TikTok type uh, fast five minute videos, different things like that. The third thing that I would like to do on my channel is maybe like a mimic of, of Uncle Roger. Yeah, he's, uh, or Nigel NG, I think his name is. Um, Uncle Roger wears an orange shirt. He's a funny guy. Uh, he does a lot of his videos and he does reaction videos or, uh, you know, against food critics or, or, other, or other chefs uh, in an Asian accent. And I think it's funny and I want to kind of replicate that in an Indian accent uh, and, and again, use more comedic. So as you can see, a lot of my, a lot of my niche there's an underlying thing of being comedic because, like I said, I love making people laugh. I think laughter is the best thing in the world. It just uplifts your mood, and, and it's, a, it's a great feeling that everyone should enjoy every single day. The fourth one, which I am actually taking a trip starting tomorrow, is a travel channel. I, I want to travel. I want to see the world. I've been around a lot of other places in this world, but... There's a lot more other places I have not seen that I would love to go see. And I would like to take maybe my characters or just myself and travel around the world and video log it or vlog it. I say vlog for some reason. A lot of people make fun of me about that. Hey, you want to do a vlog? No, it is a vlog. Anyways, I want to make it a travel channel and kind of go from there and travel the world and show you my experiences. But... I'm thinking I can incorporate a lot of different things like my comedic self, my traveling, maybe do some cooking around the world. Who knows? Again, first video, let's see where it leads me to. Uh, one of the last ones I'm thinking about is obviously doing reactions to videos, which, you know, is a little thin line about that. But, you know, there's people that are doing reaction videos again out there. Um, I know I could do probably a lot better, make it a lot more funnier, but there is some really good... Uh, content out there to be reacting to so that is kind of a summary of what I would like to do on my YouTube channel uh, the hardest part to be honest with you is that I am a business owner I owned a managed IT company for I would say 15 years now and I've been in the IT industry since I was like 20 and I love it thoroughly but you know owning your own business can be very time consuming so that's another reason why it took me about five years to decide to make my first YouTube video or to even start my YouTube channel. Maybe I felt, you know, like, what is it, imposter syndrome, or I just felt like my, my first video had to be perfect. And it took a while for me to really build up the courage to say, you know what, you don't worry what other people think about you, especially on your first video. You're always going to have haters. You're always going to have people who will never like your videos and, and whatever like that. Don't worry about that. Who cares about what other people think about you? Push that aside. Worry about what you want to do. Look at what your audience wants and continue doing that because there's going to be people out there that will like you. I promise you that because I have friends, I think, maybe one or two. I don't know. Uh, three, I think, three. Um, I won't say their names here because I don't want them to feel offended that they might not be my friend or something like that. So... I finally got the courage to do it. Uh, with my traveling channel, I am going to Africa for two and a half weeks. I'm going to be taking a lot of video. I got my whole camera gear set up. I will do another video about my camera gear and packing and a bunch of other stuff like that that I've been kind of writing. I'm going to continue writing a, a, a bunch of new scripts to bring some more new content. Um, another thing I'm looking to do is maybe bring in my, my entrepreneurship and my my knowledge of owning a business for such a long time to help people out, you know, how to be more productive, how to, you know, what books have helped me out throughout the, throughout the years to grow my business to where it's at right now. What, um, what is one of the biggest things that accelerated my business and how I grew quicker using sales and marketing tactics, social media, you know, cold calling. There's so many different avenues of where we can take this channel. So I'm really excited to just open up, lethal mito to the world 
and hopefully something will stick and I have an audience on what people want to watch. Uh, again, I'm going to try to make everything as funny and comedic as possible. Um, and the reason is because back in the 80s, I think there was this, 80s or 90s, there was this commercial, it was for memory tapes. And I don't know if you remember this, this guy used to sell cassette tapes to help you improve your memory. And he'd said something to me, or sorry, to the TV, in the TV or t in his commercial that really stuck to me. He goes, you got two people running down a road. One has clothes on, one doesn't have clothes on. You're going to remember the person without clothes on because it's funny. You're going to be like, what the heck? It's out of the ordinary. It, 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 it's, you know, something that you normally don't see on a day-to-day -day basis unless maybe you live in Europe or something like that or some country that allows nudity. But when I heard that, it made me laugh because I pictured in my mind some naked dude when I was probably like, what, 10 or naked girl, whatever, whoever you want to picture Running down the street butt ass naked and it made me chuckle. And I always remember that. Like memory or sorry, comedy is very rememberable. I can guarantee you that you can, you know, recite lines from your favorite comedy movie, uh, Ace Ventura 1 and 2, by the way. And don't be a menace while drinking your juice in the hood. You can recite, you know, your favorite stand up comp, com, com, <laughs> your favorite stand up comedian and some of the things they said during their stand up party, like, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. So comedy sticks. And I think comedy is very rememberable. Rememberable. So again, I want to incorporate a lot of comedy in anything that I do. Whether, you know, even if I do a training video on how to how to set up your computer or Android phone, I'm going to talk like I'm doing tech support for you because people remember that. Now, I know people are turned off because when you have to deal with people in their tech support from India, you can barely understand them. But again, this is more comedical. You're going to have the haters. You got the people who love it. You got the people who laugh about it. I'm not worried about the haters. I want to be there for the people who love what I can bring to this YouTube channel. So this is my first video on YouTube and it took a lot of years a lot of courage to finally do this i'm not going to worry about if i'm looking at the camera or if i'm not looking at the camera if i'm looking at myself in the phone i'm not going to worry about how i spoke i'm not going to worry about if i accidentally picked my boogers during the video because you're going to get to see that if i scratch my neck if i got a you know ear itch or something like that i'm not i'm going to leave all that in i'm going to keep it natural and i'm going to continue using this video and the next videos to always improve myself and with the power of magic and video editing, I might cut some of these things out so it looks a little bit more fluently. But at the end of the day, I'm going to kind of uh, try to keep it as, <coughs> see, I might keep that cough in here. I'm going to try to keep it as natural as possible because what it's going to do for me is help me become more comfortable in the camera when I see myself and laugh at myself for doing these things. It's going to help me become more aware of what I need to improve on and what I need to do better and, you know, learn and how to teach me how to edit more or, or do transitions or different things like that. So once again, I think I probably said this a couple of times. Welcome to the channel. Lethal Mithal, L-E-T-H-A-L-M-I-T-A-L, a.k.a. The Meat Kaka. And I'm looking forward to making more videos with you, whether it be traveling, personality, training, comedic, cooking i'm gonna figure out a niche and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rock this channel and hopefully in two three four years and and 200 videos later on you guys are still watching and y'all go back to this first video and be like wow look how doofy he looks and three years later down the road you're like damn he's still doofy so anyways thank you come again ding 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 Oh, this is where you cut, cut, cut it, cut it, cut it.